But uh, this okay. whole estimate. Well, I hold up, hold up. Mm -hmm. I wake up in the morning. Oh, I come to see you on a date. Mm -hmm. And I'm not looking that good. You don't find me. Look. And then I ask you, oh, how do I look? Will you tell me how I look bad? I don't know. Um, yeah, I'll tell you. No, today, baby, no. Okay. You missed it. Will you tell me I look bad? Yeah, no, not bad, because I love you. Because <laughs> yeah. I love you. Uh -huh. I won't be that cruel and uh, straightforward. Uh -huh. I'll be like, gently tell you that uh, something is amiss. All what right. happened to your blazer? <laughs> so, like you, <laughs> so you you agree that there's something as 100% honest? Yes. You can be 100% It only depends on how you present it. You know what she's saying? Uh -huh. She's still saying the same thing I'm saying, but maybe using the softer language. Mm. That, oh, baby, you know. Yes, but still, okay. he's honest with you. Mm. So honesty okay. is still, uh, it is still there. Okay, but we have this situation where when you tell the truth, it's going to cause more harm than good. And these situations exist. Even the, yes. the government might lie to the public sometime uh, to keep them sane. So that they don't, because if... If I knew the world was ending tomorrow, <laughs> will I tell everybody the world is ending tomorrow so that they start misbehaving? No, but for how long? I'll just let them be normal. Exactly. For how long? For how long? You are, you are, your air is unkempt. Then I say, no, baby, you are, you are okay because I knew you were going to buy me a jeep that day, so I don't want to destroy, to <laughs> interfere with your mood. So <laughs> you say, uh, baby, you look so good. But for how long? After the jeep, you are still the unkempt guy that I is it. So right. I better just tell you, but in a good way, the communications factor still comes in. According to me, the truth is a major cause of breakups. Yeah. Sometimes. The truth. Not, <laughs> not if life. you're in, with an incompatible partner. Oh, so that is where compatibility comes but in. Yeah, that's well. where compatibility comes in. So if you are with a, uh, with a compatible partner, the truth will always set you free. It will. It right. will, yeah, because it won't. It will be more of you are helping us mm -hmm. with this information mm -hmm. than you are trying to. Because uh, you see, the problem with lies, mm -hmm. it's not even the lie itself. It's the fact that you are taking this person to be stupid, mm -hmm. and as after some time, when they realize that this is how you've been carrying them, mm -hmm. they really get upset. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, even for cheating, mm -hmm. if you have decided to go ahead and cheat mm -hmm. if you only come and say that you did so i'm i'm telling you the truth mm -hmm. <laughs> that this conversation will take a different turn I if you if you are able to speak but if you lie and you are caught <laughs> <laughs> it's another okay. situation <laughs> okay so it's there's no need for getting in trouble twice for one lie yeah. Because the first time you lie, you get in trouble. And then when they figure out the truth, you also get in trouble. Yes. So just tell the truth. Just and tell deal the with truth. It once. Mm -hmm. And then the good thing with mm -hmm. telling the truth, mm -hmm. the truth has got a way of helping both sides. You that mm -hmm. you are saying the truth, you'll be free. Mm -hmm. And you, the, the hearer, mm -hmm. you are also going to be set free. So me, I'll always tell you the truth. I'll always be honest. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter how you'll take it. But eventually... I wish, I wish we had a man... Or in studio <laughs> with us right now because I'd really like to get a man's perspective <laughs> on this about this truth and lies. The reason why you need a man is because men are the majority of the liars. Yes, <laughs> I'm a liar myself. So they lie, liar yeah, myself. exactly. So I'm a liar I, myself. I, as, I don't They're know why. They're talented liars. Not really. He said. All right. Uh, uh, I'm not seeing a conversation where I tell a lady. You're not looking really good today. Going well. Yeah, you, you, they're just talented liars. No. He'll always lie to you. Because, don't but you know, the behind these lies, well. uh -huh. there's something he wants. Uh -huh. Yeah. Now, come here, you know, baby, you look so good. Even no, he knows that you're not looking good. So that he gets what he wants at the end of the day. <laughs> you have a very, exactly. you have a very narrow perspective of men. <laughs> No. You don't look at us. No, 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 no. no. I, I have a lot of okay. <laughs> And then the problem of, um, like you're saying, mm -hmm. if you tell, you can't, you can't tell a lady that she's not looking nice. Mm -hmm. So That what, conversation never goes well. What gratification do you want? Do you want f now gratification or you want long term? Yeah. Because if you want short term gratification when it comes to anything in life, you are ruining yourself. 
you know this thing because we have tomorrow and to we communication have, uh -huh. you can tell me that but in a better way in a better way yeah you know by there like this hairstyle but uh -huh. the one that you used last week was better you are right. still saying this one is not good so a wise, a, man, yes. a wise man one told yes. me, a happy wife a happy life yeah <laughs> but if you just come and tell me that hey make your wife happy <laughs> but anyway, 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 let's uh, get to this point uh, of giving up. So people give up on relationships. They come and tell you, ah, I'm not feeling this anymore, man. Mm. I'm uh, mm -hmm. We rudi home kwa made. Niji pange kidogo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's different forms of giving up. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, when you are no longer, you don't believe in this concept of love, but when you're no longer attracted or in love as much, is there a point in holding on? Because giving up is a major cause of breakups. But is there a point in holding on when it doesn't feel the way it used to? Yeah, to most women, kids. Mm -hmm. You know somebody is in a relationship or maybe a marriage because of the kids. Mm -hmm. You are no longer in love. You are mm -hmm. under one roof. Mm -hmm. You don't even see eye to eye, you can't discuss anything, but you say, my kids. Uh -huh. Then the embarrassment back at home, where mm -hmm. somebody is sending you back, what mm -hmm. are you going to tell them? Mm -hmm. All your age are gone. Mm -hmm. Then you say, let me just hold on. Mm -hmm. Even th though things are not working, mm -hmm. but it is the worst form of slavery. Mm -hmm. I would not advise somebody to do that. If it is not working, please free yourself. Free yourself. Yeah, because nowadays, uh, these, these two-legged animals, they are very funny. Some will just walk with an axe all the way from Neri to come and ask you. So if it is not working, please walk out. Oh. Yeah. It took me back to a very dark moment right there. Mm. But it's factual, mm. for sure. It's a very bad form of slavery. Mm. Let me get it from you now. Mungure. <laughs> <laughs> is it worth holding on just to care, to protect the feelings of the other party? Because probably they're going to uh, you know them. They're very emotional. They're going to cry. Mm. Mm. They might even attempt suicide. You never know. So is it worth holding on? No. It's never worth holding on. Whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you've already gotten yourself into this situation, the only way that you can work it out, because mm -hmm. you, you, you see, after getting yourself into a mess, mm -hmm. you want to unmess it. Mm -hmm. And the only way to unmess such situations is by either going to therapy mm -hmm. for a period of time mm -hmm. pa to both parties agreeing to it mm -hmm. or just leaving mm -hmm. yeah all right mm. people listed support as uh, one lack of support as a major cause also of uh, breakups in relationships i'd like to define this support what is this support this man does not support me mm. what is what do ladies mean when they say i'm not getting support from my guy Mainly what people tend to think uh -huh. is the financial or material, but it shouldn't be that way. But mostly I it means that. Am yeah. I wrong? Yeah, mostly, yeah. but it is wrong. It doesn't <laughs> matter whether it is mostly. When it is wrong, it is wrong. Because uh -huh. sometimes I need emotional support. Mm -hmm. I'm going through something. Mm -hmm. I have my job. Mm -hmm. My account is well. Huh? Mm -hmm. It is well kept. Uh -huh. So it is not about your money. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I just need you by my side. Mm -hmm. Just tell me that all shall be well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just keep on things with them. But you're not there for me. Mm -hmm. I'm sick and then you tell me in the house, Kona una kadia in HF, so you see. See at the end. I just wanted you to say sorry first. Oh, I'm feeling it. <laughs> I know. Those are the things. Emotional support. Yeah, <laughs> when it comes to relationship, emotions <laughs> first. All right. But emotions but are but the what first priority. Person. Yeah. Uh. It is about money. Sometimes I have money. Uh. I, I can take care of myself well. Mm -hmm. But now I just need somebody to tell me that why don't you just take that car and go to the store and join you later. Uh -huh. That it is the first therapy. I will not even need that doctor. Uh -huh. At least gonna feel and I feel uh -huh. somebody cares about me. Uh -huh. But so you can you when you come and go Janini, I'm a to me fifty k. And say, since you to me a pesa, unataka? Ah ah. No, I need emotional support. Then other things will follow. Mm -hmm. mm. So I get on my phone, get a taxi, and say, ah, behave. Yeah. I can even pay for that taxi. <laughs> there's nothing wrong but with it. it. There's, there's a feeling that yeah. comes with it. Yeah, the fair sense of belonging. Uh -huh. At least sense of security. Somebody cares about me. So that is how you define support mm. for you. Mm. All right, tell me yeah. about the support. Um, I agree it? with with, uh -huh. with her. And also, I would like to add that this support is in the person's capacity. Mm -hmm. So we shouldn't be having these situations where... Um, 
like a lady or even a man mm -hmm. you need maybe financial support from from this individual and you are asking for for more than they can afford mm -hmm. you, you get uh -huh. so in in their given capacity mm -hmm. for every so we have definitely if we are together we we love each other mm -hmm. we have okay those people who are not who, who, are, who don't love each other and they're together i don't know what you're doing but mm -hmm. <laughs> so, <laughs> so if you if you're together we love each other so mm -hmm. we have to have emotional support mm -hmm. And for, for for that, it's supposed to be in your given capacity. I think we can go almost like a hundred percent when I'm with you and I love you. I'm supposed to be there if I'm busy or something like that. You can be able to make time, mm -hmm. and you can make me aware that you're busy now. But you can make time this other time. Mm -hmm. And then when it comes to finance, the same thing. Um, in the person's capacity, what can they offer. what they can what can they afford? Mm -hmm. What can they offer? So I've given you emotional support. So and then again, what do you need? Mm -hmm. exactly. Emotional support and what else do you need? Yes. It's always very important. Mm -hmm. It's very important. We can't eat emotion. We can't we can't eat emotions. Mm -hmm. And also maybe when people come from work and they are retired, mm -hmm. they're frustrated about something. Mm -hmm. You know, you're you're supposed to be this confident. Mm -hmm. I'm able to talk to you. I'm able to tell you what is going on. Mm -hmm. And you're with me, you know? All right. Mm. So, uh, la <laughs> ladies, uh, a friend of mine told me uh, he lives with his girlfriend and he's never been to his girlfriend's office, uh, but he knows everybody from that office. Because when his girlfriend comes home, imagine Leo Nani Alifanya Ivi Leo. Uh, imagine, oh, you remember I told you about Nani? <laughs> so Nani, Leo, Nani, Walifanya, <coughs> he knows a lot of things. Every time the lady gets home, she talks about the office for an hour. Mm -hmm. So he found a way to deal with this. He zones out and just says, uh-huh, mm -hmm. yes, yes. And the lady likes it, even if he's not listening. Would you call that support? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow, no. That is no support. That is not Listen support. Listen to every detail of what I'm saying. That is not support because, <laughs> okay, your lady will soon come to find out that you, you, you zone out. One day, she might revisit a conversation and... You she have, gets mad. You don't even listen you, to you, you You don't have anything to say about that conversation. It happened uh, some time back, mm -hmm. and you have no input. Mm -hmm. I'm like, this is you going remember? to cause a fight. Yeah, because mm -hmm. now th that means we are um, intellectually, because mm -hmm. you see, when it comes to, you see how we are able to talk right now here? Mm -hmm. Normally, um, in normal life circumstances, we talk about silence um, is good. Mm -hmm. We talk about. Uh, being a loner and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to relationship, you're supposed to be able to talk like this almost on a daily basis. Because uh -huh. you have to check in. Uh -huh. You have to check in with your relationship daily. So there is no way you're zoning out <laughs> in a relationship. <laughs> in a relationship. No, if you're not ready to be in a relationship, don't get into one. Don't get into one. You have to be able to chat like this daily. Wow. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yes, <laughs> I like it when people you, have you, you may not have everyday. that time. But this is a different generation. <laughs> yes, but you may not have love. that time. Uh -huh. And again, uh, during your chats, uh -huh. what the third party so much talking about my office, my boss, my what? No, let's talk about each other. Uh, CC. Uh -huh. uh -huh. I think it will be better off uh -huh. than when I bring, you know, my secretary, my secretary did this and this. You see, there's a time. The uh, secretary issue will bring problems. Mm -hmm. You start building the image of, of your secretary in mm -hmm. his mind. Uh -huh. So he starts looking, okay. So there are some people who are better even than you. Uh -huh. The day Mutakosana took it dog, I wish I had that secretary you've been talking about. <laughs> then Hapo, Helen's been broken. Yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. never bring the third party mm -hmm. so much into, yeah, so much. into you can. your relationship. Yes. Never be talking about your Other friends people, so much, your parents, your workmates. Do you agree with that? I agree. Point? Mm -hmm. I you agree, agree with that? Point? Yes, I agree. Right, with that don't point. be talking about third parties. Sana, mm -hmm. sana, sana. Mm -hmm. 